Now, a count on two investigation. Tonight, officials at the Alcannon Detention Center are putting new methods to use to weed out a growing drug problem inside Charleston County's jail. We have part two of our count on two investigation on the increased drug presence at the detention center, including the use of a new x ray scanner. NEWSRES Riley Benson joins us in the studio, and Riley officials hope the scanner will keep drugs from getting behind bars. Yeah, Brendan Aaron, Aaron, I jumped on the new scanner and put it to the test to see if I could smuggle fake contraband into the jail. I failed that test, and officials at the Alcannon Detention Center are hoping inmates looking to bring drugs into the facility will fail too, playing a role to reverse a tripling number of overdoses in the jail. The last thing you want to deal with is you got an inmate passed out in a cell because they've o OD'd on whatever drug that they're on. Overdoses from April through the end of the year in 2021, tripling from 4 to 14 compared in 2020. And while every inmate is thoroughly checked when booked in, strip and pad searches aren't perfect. That's how uh, most of the contraband will come into the facility is those unforeseen um, strip searches that where we don't find anything. The new x-ray scanner is equipped to reveal drugs potentially ingested in balloons or bags or concealed inside their body. Officials say the quick scan is expected to catch any drugs or contraband inmates attempt to sneak in. We are able to detect a lot more things by using this. Plus we also will take some liability off of us if somebody has ingested something. I got to use that scanner firsthand. It uses low amounts of radiation, scans from left to right, and produces images in various levels of contrast. Sergeant Paula Webb says it improves safety for her deputies. You don't want your officers to have to deal with a situation like that. It's an added stress. Um, it, it's mentally not healthy for us to see that day in and day out. The greatest risk remains with inmates, but Webb says deputies run risk of exposure to deadly drugs like fentanyl. Dealing with the drugs and the contraband, the weapons and all that kind of stuff that would be in here, uh, all the different personalities that they have to deal with. And as the number of overdoses has increased at the Alcannon Detention Center, the need for Narcan has grown. And while the facility has ample supply, stocking up on weapons like the scanner in Narcan is an important step to fighting the drugs. We have Narcan on hand for us to utilize if an officer is exposed. As the number of overdoses hopefully decreases, officials and staff will be able to direct their care in other areas. We have had patients that's, you know, walking through the door. They're in our intake area for less than an hour. We have to go and use the Narcan. Sometimes we initiate two and three doses. Safety at the forefront, all while keeping drugs from getting picked up and put behind the bars. It's pretty much the same all the time because somebody's going to try to come through the door with something on them. We just have to be diligent and find it. Now, DHEC reported a 59% increase in overdose deaths from 2019 to 2020 and predicted that trend would continue for 2021. Fentanyl was among the main contributors to overdose deaths in our state. Live in studio, Riley Benson, count on two.